everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round four of the Concordon Galactic Championship Qualifier. Super excited to be here. Hopefully you are. As we've done with all of our Galactic Championship events, we have teamed up with content creators from around the community, and this is a community team up with Wired Unplugged. How's it going, Brad? Pretty good, Dion. How about yourself? I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling really good. So, uh, Brad, let's go ahead and uh, break down these lists. All righty. So, uh, on... Oh, actually, hang on. On your left, you have Garth Jones, otherwise, I believe, known as Guppy. I'm pretty sure that's Guppy. Uh, he is running a uh, separatist list of Darth Maul with General Grievous and Count Dooku on a board. That is not a ship that I would want to be a passenger on. Uh, he also has two uh, Scar Scarkin Aces? Scarcon Aces? Something like that. Three of them, even. Yeah, man, that's a weird word. Uh, he has <laughs> three of those guys running Predator. Uh, that's the uh, the another weird word, the Bell Bell Bulb, Bell Belly Bulb Starfighter. Bell Blab. Uh, Bell Blab. And on your right is the Imperialist. Uh, so Darth Vader and Marek Steel in the TIE Advance. Uh, fire control systems on both of them. And Marek Steel has marksmanship. Uh, fifth brother in the uh, prototype fire control system and some homing missiles. And Del Miko in the TIE Fighter. Now, I'm sure Del Miko has an interesting rule that I'm going to look at because I don't know what he does. <laughs> no worries. So as, you, as you're taking a look at that, um, if you haven't yet, you can go ahead and play Choose Your Champion. How do you play? You type exclamation point points to check your balance. You get GSP points just by watching the stream. Super easy. You also get extra points for subbing if you've gifted subs, following, all those twitchy things. Um, and you bet them. Exclamation point bet. You put a space you can type one or two in the chat, and uh, that one is your player on the left, which is Hayden. Two on the right is Garth. And then uh, you put another space, and you put how many points? If you type all, you bet all your points or up to 10,000, whichever uh, whichever is less there. Um, if you have more than 10,000, excuse me, it will go to, to 10,000. That's the cap. It's just a fun way to participate and, uh, you know, just put something on the line. We do use those GSP price points to trigger animations on the screen. Sometimes we use them for giveaways. Not usually, but sometimes. And uh, <laughs> that's who got a super random question. Do I have a favorite Hibarito place? I do. <laughs> well, we can talk about that in a little bit. Uh, there we go. We got some of those cool animations. But, yeah, if you haven't uh, placed your bets yet, please do. Also want to remind you that this round and all of our rounds are brought to you by Curled Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code CONCORDON2020 for 20% off. Get that acrylic, sweet, sweet acrylic in your hands, ready to play in person. Let's do it. So it looks please. like we're up to the second turn here now, Dion. We've got the Imperials advancing up their uh, right flank, uh, which is towards the center of the board. Um, Del Miko is out in front, which, based on his pilot ability, is not really where he wants to be. It looks like he's giving defensive rerolls, mm -hmm. so he probably doesn't want to die first. Agreed. Now, real quick here, Nick, please change on the right. Uh, instead of Garth, put in put in Guppy. Everybody knows him by Guppy, Gup, the Gupster. <laughs> All right. So yeah, who do who do you think, Brad? Uh, would you be voting for if you were playing Choose Your Champion? If if I was gambling right now, I'd be betting on Guppy. But I mean, I don't know Hayden, so that doesn't help me. Um, is, that, is that right, Dion? Two P's. Yes, please. Cool. Yeah, two pace. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got our first shots. Del Miko do. in two. The Skokin Ace number two, the orange one. Two dice, one crit. Let's go ahead and increase the gravity on here because those dice are taking too long to fall down. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, safe. Easy. Expected. Not having to spend the focus. Real nice there for the orange Belba Lab. Should be able to get a shot. With a mod now, back at the TIE Fighter. 
So we're just checking the rest of the ships to make sure nobody misses out on shooting. Yep. And here we go. This will be our last and shot for this round. Three on four. Both players still have a focus, and that's three hits. That's nice. <laughs> uh, we do have a focus on Dell, though. And he's going to be able to spend Which... it, but still takes the damage on the onset. That's, that's, it is a win. In those kind of range three engagements, you don't really expect to do damage very often, but uh, being able to go in with some extra, extra cards feels nice. Feels nice. Yeah, especially when you're talking about a ship that only, you know, starts the game with three hull. So that's, mm -hmm. that's a pretty easy kill shot for a lot of ships now with only two left on him. And getting him off the board takes away the defensive rerolls that he's in the list to give to the more agile or more efficient, better, quote-unquote, ships. So that's a pretty good opening shot from Guppy there, even though it was incidental. All right. Now, you know, one thing I like to do with our streams is always doing polls. It's really cool to see uh, people's opinions out there. I want to ask the question, because we right now, we, we are kind of streaming at an odd hour. I want to know who's watching out there. So we just put a poll, very simple, simply type the number in the chat that corresponds with where are you watching from right now? One is North America, two South America, three Africa, four Europe, five Asia, and six Oceania slash Australia. Who is awake with us right now? Well, I mean, all of Australia is awake, Dion. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe you got some night shifters out there who's taking a little nap nap right now. Yeah, that was my plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm all going right. to work after this. That's right. I did. And uh, by the way, thanks, Brad, for, for hanging out. I know you got called in a little bit earlier. You're not going to be able to stay that, that last round. Yep, no, nope. got to go and rescue people from... Trying to do too much at the same time. Mangua, you right, live in so Chicago, bro? Humble Park? What's that, man? All right. So we have some more motion here. Looks, I like how he has these Skoken Aces spread out a little bit, keeping one basically as a flanker, it looks like, to protect Darth Maul. Yeah, he's also covered a huge chunk of the board with... Uh, firing arcs for wherever Delmico happens to end up, because I think now that he's taken one, getting him off the board this turn would be the ideal play, and I reckon Darth Maul probably gets a shot on him this turn as well with that block there. But the All rest right. of uh, Hayden's ships are pretty well out of the line of fire, and are going to get to shoot at some separatists unmolested this turn would be my guess. We got more moving now. Yep. Right nice. into that slot. Yeah, I think we're going to lose Del Mico, but honestly, it, it being the cheapest ship on the board for uh, Hayden isn't too big of a loss, especially if uh, Guppy can win the positioning, uh, excuse me, if Hayden can win the positioning battle. Choosing a barrel roll there with Darth Maul, moving him farther back, probably waiting to... Uh, to get an engagement with Merrick Steel or Vader. Ooh, nice. The two bank just oh. barely fits <laughs> in there. Just barely. It's important to note Vader does not have afterburners in this list. All right. Hayden going try hard mode. <laughs> Andrew in the chat saying, ah, plenty of room, no problem. So Vader yeah, taking I mean, the target lock. <laughs> so Vader now shooting at the front ace with a target lock and a focus. Here we Classifier go. Classifier control system. Well, just roll natties like that and you just don't need to. Get, that's, <laughs> that's fine too. Hit, crit, crit. And one evade, that means hit crit is going through. I believe that should be the first two shields. And it is. Two shields down. We do have a couple more shots of that 
guy this turn as well. But we've got Maul now. Guppy just making his decision on who he wants to shoot here. And from downtown, you probably want to focus fire whoever it is you're going into. And looks like it might be Merrick Steele. He knows that if Merrick has a shot from range tree, that also means that the Skokin Ace ahead of him does. And, uh, of course, the orange one does as well. Here we go. Going at Merrick from downtown. Yeah, we might even have a shot from that back ace as well there. I saw a Maybe. force expenditure. Dooku crew. Yep, Dooku crew. Probably a uh, a blank called for the enemy, I'm, I'm guessing. Just one crit. Oh, well. <laughs> that There you go. Did a damage. That's Got a, a shield. Honestly, that's the best case scenario there. Darth Maul does have that ability to double tap if he misses into. Uh... Oh, he actually he he is going to use the ability there. He dumped two two force in order to get a second attack on a different ship. Going to take the shot into Del Mico, and nothing there. Probably doesn't spend the force. That is the correct choice. All right, it's going to take a little bit for Maul to regen those uh, those force. He does not have heat. It's a very common upgrade on Maul. And here is Merrick Sweet. taking the range one shot. So Merrick, no actions this turn, but rolls two hits anyway. Changes one to a crit. Yep, because he has a target lock out there. Now, uh, because of marksmanship, actually, that's the reason he was able to t turn that over. Spends the focus on the orange ace in order to avoid the damage. No crits, please. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass on that crit, please. Fifth okay, brother so we... has a shot, probably continuing into the Skogan ace. And here we go. Remember, Fifth Brother does have that ability to spend two force to add a crit if the attack hits, though. So one crit right now. He would have to blank out in order to get the ability off. Not going to happen. Safe. Here's Dell. Doesn't have a shot on the injured ace. So we're going into Maul. Mm -hmm. With only one force up there, I think that is the correct call. Might be able to drain it, but nope. With two blanks. Don't even Doesn't matter if you don't roll pitches. All right, I think the Skogan Aces are up now. Shot number one from downtown. I like the shot order selection, by the way. This one only had one shot. Go into that TIE fighter, see what you get, and then you can make some other decisions afterwards. One hit. Into four green dice. Safe. I think right now you go into, I mean, Orange should probably shoot next. Range one into Merrick Steel. Yeah, I mean, he's not shooting at anybody else, so he may as well. He did spend the focus yep. already on defense, so this is four unmodified dice, four on three. Marek also, no defensive mods. Got two. That's the average. That's what you're looking for. It's a re-roll out there because of Predator. There's no focus. Uh, no. So three hits. Focus, did we? Yeah, he got three hits. There you go. And one evade. That's going to be taken two. And we're already at half point on Merrick. Yellow Ace probably takes the shot right now. Yeah, well, I mean, it's two to kill Merrick or two to kill the TIE Fighter, so you might as well try and kill Merrick. <laughs> it's worth more. <laughs> Here we go. Three dice. Predator's on. Has a focus. There's the reroll, and that's going to be three hits. Three. And we've got four unmodified greens here. 
And Guppy oh, has nope. won the opening engagement right there by taking Merrick Steele off. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, so we start this game off right now, 0 to 48. Now, here's the thing with losing, one of the problems I have with Merrick Steele as a ship is. Uh, and it might be a bias comparing him to Vader, but I feel like going in, you are you're always short one action because you want to have target lock and focus, right? So a lot of times you'll go in with a target lock, but then you end up taking a lot of damage because you don't have focus for defensive mods. But if you take a focus, then you don't have your additional attacking power. So it's like I, I prefer if you're going to fly Merrick to have him almost on the flank. That way he can get his target lock set up uh, without other ships bother bothering him. Unmolested, as you said earlier. Um, but losing him in the opening here uh, makes it so that we don't we don't get to see Merrick do his shenanigans. No, no crit searching. No shenanigans. Yeah, we did have some uh, some good positioning there by Guppy to get that block on Dell, which also caused the pile up with Marek. So Marek not getting any actions that turn left him in the way with no actions. So that's, I think, one of the drawbacks as well of the tie advanced is the, the limited dial options. Now, as we go into this next round, I want to remind everybody that we stream live every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Hello to our YouTube viewers in the future. By the way, who here in the chat heard about Gold Squadron via YouTube first? I'm always curious to see that. Who, who heard about us on YouTube first and then made the transition to watching live sometimes? And if you're watching on YouTube now, in the future... Join us live. Now in the future. That's <laughs> right. Join us. Yeah, it looks like a few there, Dion. Learn That's to right. play videos. Get your viewers that way. And new Ooh. players at the same time. That's right. All right, Skogan Ace getting out here, trying to avoid getting shot up by Vader. And we're basically replacing him with the yellow one. Taking a barrel roll focus. Okay. Maybe expecting Vader to go fast there with the three bank. K turn from Del Mico. Was he able to I catch the yellow? Coming. I didn't see that either. I think he has got a shot on the yellow, and I think almost certainly Maul's running into the back of him there. Yep, especially with that stress token. All right. So this might be a. Uh, Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say this might be this might be a fairly imperial friendly turn here. We might see uh, most of the imperial ships not getting shot at this turn, or at least not getting uh, any good shots. Yeah, we got the bump there. Mm. Taking away some mods, taking away the uh, Tie Fighter as a target for Maul as well. So good flying there by Dell. All right, and Vader does land a, a three bank. Not a bump from Vader, but sh oh, there's no, there's no <laughs> escape for Vader there though. That is in front of Maul, but Maul no actions. Vader should be able to barrel roll, I think, out of the arc at least at the Skogan Ace to avoid one range one shot. Uh, but yeah, you're definitely getting shot by by Maul. But at least Maul um, only has two force. You know, there's no other tokens out there. Uh, Vader's going to stay there and take it by the looks of it. Oh my goodness. He's choosing He's violence. He's target lock focus. He is choosing violence. All right. So the call is to try to take out the Skogan Ace. That is aggressive. That's probably not completely impossible. All three Imperial ships look like they have shots on it. Yep. Uh, so we've not opened with a great roll. All right. So you probably just... All right, he's going to fire control system. Is he? Did he take a focus? He did. He, is, he does have all. a focus. He is going to use it. So we got two, two hits, hits, two crits after that. 
but yep. the nothing crit added with that advanced targeting. Left. And taken three. Hit, hit. So two shields, one hull. Leaving Direct. two damage left. Takes an extra one. And, oh, yep. All right, cool. So I guess choosing violence was the correct choice there. That's right. He's got to push one more damage through to make it to really make it worth it. Because if you lose Vader here because uh, yellow lives, that's going to feel real bad. All right. Huh. Maul. <laughs> Maul taking that range one shot. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Returns the favor. Two hits, two crits. That's right. Oh, man. Vader. Oh, no. Out. That's half points. That is half points. And he is eating a crit. Shield, shield, crit. Structural. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I think we might lose Vader because there is the blue Skogane still has a shot through the, through the. It might even be unobstructed. Man. It, it looks close. It looks close. All right. All right. Del, so. Del Mico has that range one shot. Trying to clear that ship, hoping not to lose Vader. So what do we got? Range one, no mods. Mm-hmm. Three reds. One crit. One crit. But only one hull, so who knows? Here we go. We got two dice coming in. Uh, we do have a focus, but we don't need it. So all up to the Inquisitor here. All right, here we go. So we have an obstructed shot. Defender does have a focus. Hayden really wanting to get this kill right here. And this is the four dice proton rocket, by the way. Oh, not proton rocket, excuse me. Um, homing missile. Homing missile. Mm -hmm. He chose to let him roll it because one more damage kills him, so he'd rather take, his, take the risk of actually rolling the dice and he's going to die no matter what because he was able to get the four hits yep got him uh, yeah at the time uh, I'm just taking a look here Against a damaged attacker. Actually, yeah, Darth Vader could have re-rolled a defense die. Oh, yes. That's exactly yeah, why Del's in missed, the list. Missed, missed opportunity there. Vader could possibly have... Um, okay, so yeah, Maul isn't damaged. Sorry, Maul was not damaged. It was the Skogan Ace that was damaged. Never mind. Not a damaged enemy. No. Here yeah, we go, right. though. Cool. <laughs> oh, fire at Vader. Fire at Vader. Don't don't be greedy. Fire at Vader. This is... No! 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 Copy the greed. The greed to take Vader. You had him right there. I had you. <laughs> All right. I get it, though. You have uh, the range one shot here. All right. Here we go. Well, you know, oh, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you pop the, the fifth brother, I guess it ends up being right. <laughs> Here we go. And, well, look at that. Oh, Two hits and a crit. Yeah. That's still a crit. Feels good. Whole breach. That's oh, a blank crit. That's a blank crit. That only doesn't take matter. One that damage. doesn't matter. Hot dice. Hot dice. Well. So, yes, I will I will admit that it ended up working out. Guppy is is one hole away on uh, on Fifth Brother, but there is value in being able to take out a ship. There was a possibility to take out Vader. It was an unobstructed shot. He has only two hole and a structural damage, but I guess also the thought might Guppy might be thinking, "Hey, I got a range one shot on Fifth Brother. This is a really quality shot. I don't know if I'll have this again." And with the structural damage that Vader's not able to repair, I'll probably be able to just kind of look at him and kill him next turn anyway. So, understandable why that call is made as well. Yeah, and no after afterburner on Vader means that he's not easily uh, getting away. But I don't know that Guppy's really going to be able to bring guns to bear on Vader this turn. Uh, but 
Maul is a huge threat to that Inquisitor now. So Hayden has to think very carefully about where he's going here. Especially as the Inquisitor is almost in the middle of three of Guppy's ships right now. But I expect we'll see the orange one turning around. Bam. Two left. Probably attempts to boost. Get in the action. Or maybe take a target lock. There yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't know that the boost fits. Not with that attitude. <laughs> well, yeah, that's how <laughs> physics works. <laughs> if you think it will fit. <laughs> All right, we clear the stress there on the blue ace. Going to take a focus on this one. Yeah, it looks like um, Guppy maybe is just trying to jam up the Inquisitor's movement options this turn. Try and get a sneaky shot off on him with Maul. Yep, the two straight there is just trying to, like you said, is just kind of taking up, taking up some space. There is a block there on Fifth Brother. Which the orange ace does have a shot in. Another and bump Maul from as well. Maul. Well, that's okay. I don't think we're going to see a K-turn from Vader this turn. Maybe. Maybe. If you're ballsy, you don't think they were going for Vader. No, we've got a talent roll. T-roll? All right. Vader, does Vader have a target lock out there right now? He does not. So he's just going to be doing two dice. But he's also out of harm's way, so... Mm-hmm. Guppy so is... pretty much only got shots on the fifth brother this turn. Skogan Ace, this is a two-die shot. Vader could spend the force. There's no other shots coming in. Spends it. Yes, two hits. Oh, all right. Force to spend the focus. So I didn't have a shot anyway, so... No real waste of resources there. We've got Maul now. Almost certainly killing Fifth Brother. So we've got... We've ended up with three hits and a crit... And Natty's, but still taking one. Which is the kill? No. Yeah. What? What's... We've got damage on Dell. All right, I'm confused. Um... Maul bump Vader, not Dell. All right, so Maul shot into Dell and did a crit. They're not actually touching there. Now we have Fifth Brother shooting into Maul and just rolling blanks. All right. Sorry, I was just, uh, I the was orange reviewing. ace. This is your shot to possibly take out fifth brother. Range two. Three on three. Fifth brother does have four available. Both of them. One crit. Uh, we do have a target lock. Mm -hmm. Spending hit. into hit crit. So we need two pitches here. Nope. And we He's got get the force. two pitches here. He does have the force. So I think if I was Guppy, I definitely would have shot Fifth Brother with Maul that turn. I think that was probably a little bit greedy trying to kill both of them. Ended up killing neither of them. Okay, so Fan Kiyoshi is 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 railing on me in the chat for my mispronunciation. What am I what am I saying? I'm saying Skakoin. Skokin. 
<laughs> Scat I'm Cohen. S- Scat, I, I Cohen. Scat Cohen. Scat Cohen. Scat Cohen. I'm sorry. It's a made-up word. Yes. The ye- yellow scope. Sc- oh, my gosh. <laughs> The yellow belly rub is dead, Nick. Can you please just kill it? <laughs> Skeko and Ace. There you go. Thank you, sir. Kakoa. Kakoa Ace. Skunk Ace. <laughs> Coconut Ace. All I right, like so that one. After that turn, Dell took a damage sensor array. Fifth Brother walked away unhurt. And we got some damage on... No, we already had damage on Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. Uh, Guppy took no damage that turn. And is still in a fairly commanding position. Yeah, absolutely. With the score of 40 to 123, Guppy just has to be conservative. We'll put it that way. You got to make sure not to uh, put Maul like, on a rock or something like that. That large base ship uh, going into these rocks could end up... <laughs> Possibly on a rock. You don't want that. Maul's strength is in the fact that he is a very aggressive ship. You want to be able to shoot, uh, get those double taps off, continue to be a threat, keep Hayden on his heels. And we got the sloop here from the Skakoan ace, the blue one, in fact. All right. And the two bank. So again, not a lot of places for Mm -hmm. Fifth Brother to go. Uh, Oh, okay. Dell's in the middle there. I think he's just he's trying to block Darth Maul onto the rock. That's exactly what that that move is. That's a good that's a good plan if it works. He has put Fifth Brother actionless in front of two guns though, possibly three, depending on exactly where Maul ends up. Uh, But again, Vader is out of the firing lines. Uh, All right, he did see that. He did see that coming. We'll have a shot. And Vader is going to be free for another turn. Opportunity to set up a target lock, I think. Yep, just a matter of picking what ship you want to do it on. Going with the orange ace. Yeah, fifth brother is probably short for this world. Also, potentially Dell this turn as well, because it looks like both of the Skunk Aces have shots on Dell if Maul kills Fifth Brother. Mm -hmm. Shot number one. Four dice coming in from Maul. I believe he has two Force available. Uh, Which will kill if he spends them. Only three dice from Fifth Brother. Yep, he's going for the guarantee. He went for it. He spent them both. Not taking any chances there. Yeah, definitely uh, dead. Uh, yep, and that's the right call. And then we'll have a shot from Dell into the orange skunk case. And then we'll have both aces trying to take Dell off the board. No shots from Vader this turn. And Vader is quite possibly going to be the last ship on the Imperial side of the board with 40 minutes to go. Yeah, I mean, Guppy came in here super aggressive, was able to get, a you know, being able to take Merrick off the board so soon, absolutely huge. And right now, Dell just try, trying to scrape some points by three hole left on this Skokoan Ace. Oh, three hits. Three hits. Could get him off here. Natty's Not baby. To be. All right. That's going to be one damage. That is half points now on that ace. Yeah, I mean, with 41 minutes left on the clock, I'm not sure points is going to be relevant here. I think it's dead or not. And here we go. We have those two follow-up shots into Del Mico. Uh, so unmodified range one. Bullseye is on. Oh yes. So there's a pulls. There's the predator. Got Rewarded a with another crit. 
So has Bell's a focus only got out one there. hole. Yeah, that's guaranteed again. Oh, <laughs> roll triple of eight, still die. Oof. All righty. Oh, man, does the blue ace actually have a shot at beta as well? Is I think he does from downtown. <laughs> sure does. There you go. Through the rock. It's going to be three on five. Vader has plenty of force. Should be okay. Three on but four because we've got structural damage in play. Ah, yes. Yes, sir. You are correct. Two hits. Only four. We've seen we've seen crazy variants before. Let's find out what the dice say. Fine this time. This time. <laughs> All right. And we are back to dials. So I want to remind everybody, we do have two more rounds after this. It is starting to get late. If I start talking a little crazy, you know why. I'm going to get myself a snack after this round, which should be able to keep the blood sugar going. But uh, two more rounds means there's like three more hours. I'll be, we'll be done my local time around 4.30 a.m. So um, you guys got to keep me going, all right? Yeah. <laughs> How's that coffee supply, Dan? You know what? I I just finished my uh, my last cup right there. I might uh, <laughs> I might be doing it. A uh, first time caller says, "Can you try an Australian accent?" You know what? Can I tell Can I tell you something, Brad? When I was in Australia, so I spent the most time in my world tour. I guess I spent the most time in in uh, in Poland. But after that, it was in Australia. And by the time I left, I was I had like a slight change to the way I was talking and my wife heard it my wife heard it on the phone and she goes why are you talking like that I'm like what are you talking about <laughs> it was hilarious oh awesome I'm sorry I missed that yeah it was it was great you know and a couple adult beverages in and you know I, w I was full <laughs> Aussie full Aussie <laughs> All right, these Skokoan aces are going in for the kill. That that is a, that is just a straight block attempt there. So I dare you, Vader, to try to turn in here. Let's make some space for Maul. Maul trying to show. Look, I'm the better apprentice. Gets a block. Has has Maul completed a, a maneuver this game? <laughs> I don't think so. I think on oh, the I'm, first turn. All right. <laughs> Maybe the second turn actually. Maybe. Maybe turn two as well, but not since then. Here we go. Uh, this is round number four, Matt Cog, 81 of six to be played today. And I believe we have a top 16 tomorrow, Dion. Yes, we do. Four hits, baby. Oh, boy. And that is all she wrote. It takes a hit crit. And uh, Vader dealing out two damage. Taking a ship off the board. That's right. That's one less gun. But we now have the Maul shot into Vader. Mm -hmm. There is a structural damage out there, so Vader only has two dice. All three, but all three left. Now, one of each. We will spend yep. a force. And oh, two are that? out there. P pushes through one. Caffeinated Wolf, what's up? How's it going? Thanks for hanging out, man. Range two. All right, does he have a focus? He sure does. That's three hits. That's going to be the end there for Vader. Even with that natty <laughs> green dice. Again. Not quite <laughs> enough. Well, thank you so much to Hayden and Guppy for playing that game. Congratulations to Guppy winning with this honestly unconventional separatist list. We have seen the vulture swarms out there. We, of course, have been talking a lot about Nantex. But now we have this different archetype. I really like it. We haven't seen Maul played quite a bit. I did see somebody in the chat saying that um, that Guppy's been practicing this quite a bit. So that means there's some, uh, there's some work being done. And thank you, of course, to our sponsor for this round, Curl Parker.